Hey y'all. Hope everybody is well. Thanks for tuning in with me today. Checking me out with this good recipe I got for you guys. I know we all <laughs> are all quarantined in this together. So while we are quarantined in the house, let's make the best of it. I got a good quarantine meal for you guys today that you can make for the whole family. It is cream cheese, butternut, French toast. Delicious. Trust me, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the upfront ingredients so we can get that out. A whole loaf of bread, any type of thick bread, I prefer you to use that type of bread so that it can hold the moisture, okay? So I went ahead and, let me just demonstrate it for you. I went ahead and just, you can break it off, you can cut it, whichever way you feel for the loaf of bread, okay? Went ahead and did that, put that to the side. I have two cups of vanilla, two cups of ground cinnamon, two teaspoons of vanilla, two cups of 2% milk, one cup of heavy cream that's gonna make it stick. I have six eggs. If you do not prefer to use the yellow, you can go ahead and use egg white. If that's the kick that you want, you can use that. Two cups of brown sugar, one whole stick of non-salted butter, either which way you prefer, salted butter, non-stick butter, whatever works for you. I have banana nut granola. I'm gonna show you how and what I'm gonna do with that to get started. So I have my glass dish. I prefer to use that. Go ahead, we're gonna put lightly Pam. Put some Pam, lightly spray it. We're gonna go ahead and get the bread added. Next step, I have the eggs, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna stir the eggs up. And while that's going, I'm gonna add this heavy cream. We're gonna add the milk here. Go ahead and get that vanilla and we're going to go ahead and get the cinnamon go ahead and you're going to pour it over now make sure you try to get all of the bread wet I'm gonna add my cream cheese. I have a whole little small tube of cream cheese. So you just wanna take that and just place that all over your mixture in your bread, okay? Make sure it's placed inside. That's gonna give that creamy feeling to it. Broken up my cream cheese in my pan. Okay, I wanted to clear some stuff off so I can show you guys. I have my oven set already on 350, getting warm. I'm gonna take this whole stick of butter and we're gonna take this with our brown sugar and just make kind of clumps. You wanna make sure your butter is room temperature. You don't want it cold and hard. I did put it in the microwave, you guys for 15 seconds just to loosen it up. Okay, I did that. And so what I'm gonna do now is mix it. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this and we're gonna go ahead and place it over our dish here. Now that I have done that, I have my oven, like I said, on 350. You can cover it up and let it sit. People like for it to sit for a day to marinate and for the bread to soak up the juices. Today, we're just gonna go ahead and get it slid in the oven because it still tastes, gonna, it's still gonna be delicious, y'all. 
You can cover with aluminum foil. I'm about to slide it in the oven. On 350 for about 45 to 50 minutes. And I'll tell you what time it took to get done, how long it took, and I'll come back with the finishing product. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I took that French toast out of the oven. It took about a good 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, you don't want it to get too overdone. Now, I also made up my special sauce to go on top. I did three teaspoons of butter, and I put in banana nut granola on, in the pan. I put in one cup. One cup of that, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And mix it up, and this is what we came up with. Roast that for about two minutes. It has the nuts in it. It has the granola, delish. Let's go ahead and get that poured over. We wanna get it all over the whole dish. Give it a different flavor. You can even do pecans, but I did the granola, y'all. Mm, it smells good. That hot butter sauce. I got some Mrs. Butterworth going on. Okay, y'all, the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and cut a piece. Cream cheese. Mmm. 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 Yummy. Let's cut one more little piece here. Oh, look at that, y'all. Delicious. Yes. So you got that cream cheese that melted. Granola nut on top. Mmm. 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 Now, for me, I'm going to use a little bit of Mrs. Butterworth on top. Okay? A little bit of Mrs. Butterworth. Don't need a lot now, because I got my butter sauce that I made up and put on top. So I don't want to have too, make it too sugary. Then I'm gonna add my wing dance. Mm. All right, got some chicken, fried chicken and French toast going on here. Take a look, y'all. Take a look. Okay, so let it cool off for a minute. Here we go. Mmm. I'm gonna add just a little bit more, sir. Just a little bit. Got that cream cheese mixed with that sugar, brown sugar, granola nuts. Do some good stuff. Mmm. chicken with that. Mmm. It's good. I promise y'all, make that dish as a dessert, add it into your breakfast or your brunch. You will love it. I thank y'all for tuning in with me today. I know that it's quarantine. We gonna make it through. Thanks for your time. Thanks for showing me love and support. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. Share me on Twitter. Also look me up on Facebook, at Shimon Snyder. Visit me on YouTube, subscribe, share my video so people can get in on it, at Shimon's Kitchen. And don't forget to visit me on Instagram, at Shimon's Kitchen. Y'all be blessed, you and your family. For my family, we're praying. Hang in there. Be blessed. Thank you.